This is Brayden reporting for Kids First, and today I'm going to tell you about a film called Saving Christmas. Saving Christmas has everything I would expect from a Christmas movie, and some things that I didn't. Humor, charm, and the holiday spirit give this movie an original Christmas feel, but the mystery and dual reality make it enjoyable not just in December, but throughout the year as well. Nick Baker, played by Ricardo Ortiz, is a 16-year-old boy whose only goals in life are to make movies and to open presents. So when his mom, played by Casey James, tosses a thousand and one Christmas chores his way, he wishes for Christmas to disappear. To his surprise, it actually does, and with it, all the joys and opportunities Christmas provides, drastically altering the lives of those around him. Now, as the sole person who remembers the holiday, Nick must find a way to restore the season and return Christmas to its former glory. My favorite character in the film is Nick's best friend, Ben, played by Joss Sarahia. No matter what crazy idea Nick has, such as Christmas, Ben tries to find the positive in it. When Nick is late for a film group meeting, Ben tries to reason with the other members, telling them that Nick must have a reason for being late and not to kick him out of the club. Nick's family is also quite interesting. Each member of their clan brings something different to the table. When Christmas is forgotten, the way they change is fun to watch. Nick's younger sister, Jojo, played by Ella Ware and Alexis Ware, goes from being a regular girl who loves the atmosphere of Christmas to a professional businesswoman who is president of her debate club. Some parts of the film are kind of hard to understand and make it slightly confusing. For example, in the beginning, we see Nick having the time of his life on the computer. But then the montage ends and we see him sleeping at his desk. At first, I thought he only dreamt the whole thing, but later we learn that he often works during the night as it brings out his creativity. Some parts are kind of corny, but nothing that detracts it as a good holiday movie. The film's message is that it is better to give than it is to receive. Before Nick erases Christmas, he's on the receiving end when it comes to gifts. But once the holiday is gone, he sees how he took the kindness of others and everything they did for him for granted. Be forewarned, there is a bit of profanity in this film. I give Saving Christmas 4.5 out of 5 stars and recommend it to ages 8 to 18 plus adults. Saving Christmas flies in the theaters on November 5th, 2024. That's it for now. This is again is Brayden reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next review or those of my amazing teammates. Bye for now. Thank you.